Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to this short tip. In this tip, I will show you guys how to use a repeat grid and create seamless pattern without using the pattern tool in Adobe Illustrator. So you guys can keep the object as a vector and you can reuse them again and again. All right. So I have this object in here. So I'm going to place this one here for a sample and I'm going to make a copy or track and I'm going to place it in here. Okay, so I want this object to be repeated again and again. To do that, you can just simply select the object and go to the object in here and go to the repeat and select the grid. So once you select the grid, as you guys can see, it has added instances of that object in a grid like this in here. So if you use Adobe XD before, this is also similar to that. You can use the grid like this and expand to all the way to cover your artwork. Same for the bottom portion also. You can do the same like this in here. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust this one to fit into our artwork. I'm going to align and align to the left corner and to the top in here. And let's bring this one to the other side all the way to the end. This one also all the way to the end. Okay, and you guys can adjust the space by moving these two icons, horizontal and the vertical one. So you can simply move like this, same in here. You can move like this to increase the space. Or you can, I go back in here, you can go in here and increase the size from here. For an example, if you want maybe 50 pixels, just enter 50. In here also, 50, you can have this shape like this in here. And in here, you have different types of grid. For an example, if you choose this one in here, it will place like this. So it will be centered. Each of these alternative lines will be aligned to the center like this. Same for the other one also. Okay, so by using this, you can create seamless patterns easily. All right. Same, you can choose these in here, flip rows or column to flip one of these rows or columns. For an example, if you want to flip them in here horizontally, you can choose this one you won't see any difference but if you see the green line in here it has been flipped if you if you select the vertical now you can see it's flipping like this in here okay same for this one also now we have a nice pattern shape like this all right so you guys can play around and create seamless patterns like this not only that if you want to add in more objects or change this shape you can simply double click on one of these shape and you can change one of these shape like this in here. Let's say you want to make this one a little bit longer. So once you start moving, you can see all our shapes are changing same as the original one. All right, so it's pretty easy. Also, you guys can add in new objects in here, which will affect all the objects on the grid as well. All right, guys, pretty easy. And you guys can create cool uh, shapes and patterns using this grid tool. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next uh, tutorial.